Hello, what's up guys? Eman from Pressmart PH here and welcome sa panibagong episode. Shoutout din sa mga podcast listeners. O oh, today, topic natin is mistakes that new stock investors make. So, let's jump right into it. Ang unang nasa lista natin is not doing enough research. So, sobrang halaga niyan. Uh, that is a very essential step. Uh, for investing or like before investing. Kasi so, syempre, kailangan mong maghanap like ng companies na para sa'yo. Na comfortable ka. Uh, na i-own yun. Uh, sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, for the next 10 years without even looking uh, at it for, you know, that certain amount of period. Kasi kung sa tingin mo, hindi siya like ni comfortable uh, to own that particular stock within the next 10 years, then uh, that might not be uh, the best stock for you to buy or to invest in. And then, uh, isang example is uh, pagbili ng phone, di ba? Like, maraming uh, oras yung ginugugol natin uh, sa pag-research uh, pagkabibili tayo ng panibagong phone. Kasi kailangan ma-answer yung like, questions, yung needs mo kung ano ba yung use case ng phone. Like for example, uh, trip mo bang uh, pang game yung phone na yun. So, syempre, kailangan itama yung specs nun uh, ng phone na yun na bibilin mo dun sa needs mo. In, for example, gaming. Or like, example, gusto mo lang uh, gusto mo lang mag-stick sa ecosystem ng iPhone. Ng, not ng iPhone, ng Apple. Diba? So, papataka sa iPhone line. Diba? Kasi kung matagal ka ng uh, nasa ecosystem ng iPhone, like, uh, mahirap, mahirap magpalit. Kasi magkakaroon ka ng adjusting period. And, yun, uh, kung yung, like, for example, friends mo or yung family mo is nasa ecosystem din, then, yeah, like, yung iMessage and all that, uh, FaceTime, medyo mahirap siyang, uh, like, palitan. And then, same din uh, sa pagbili ng kotse. Like, sa use case din, di ba? Ako uh, solo ka lang, then ako uh, for city driving lang ba? ba? And then, syempre mas mapupunta ka sa mas malayang kotse kung for example may anak ka, may pamilya ka. Or for example, gusto mo yung pambisnes, diba? Pwedeng van. Something like that. So kailangan mo mag-research. Uh, almost, uh, sa halos lahat ng gagawin mo sa pang araw-araw. And then like for example, buying a house. Yan, ganyan din. Uh, use case din yung tatanungin, di ba? Uh, ilang tao ba yung titira sa bahay? And then, uh, for long term ba to? Like, gusto mo ba? Like, uh, for example, single ka pa ngayon. And then, uh, itong bahay ba na to na, for example, papatayo mo or bibilin mo is like gusto mo nang maging bahay din. Like, for example, na maging partner mo and then maging mga anak mo. So, di ba? Dapat mas malaki siya. Kasi kung, for example, solo lang and then uh, magpapalit ka lang ulit or lipat ka na lang uh, pag, for example, nagkapamilya ka na, then, uh, like, pwedeng siguro konda lang, di ba? Like, maliit na bahay lang. Something like that. And then, yeah, kahit yung simpleng bagay lang uh, pagpili ng restaurant. Di ba, hindi naman pwedeng, uh, for example, hindi mo lang alam, ha? For example lang, ha? Punta kang KFC, tapos gusto mo ng pizza pala. As far as I know, wala naman pizza sa KFC. So, di ba, parang nasayang lang yung oras mo sa pagpunta sa KFC personally. And then, wala naman palang pizza doon. So, it would really pay off kung nag-research ka muna uh, ng tamang restaurant. And then, yun. Kapag sigurado ka, oy, nasa menu nila. Nasa menu nila yung uh, pizza. So, yun, punta ka doon. Or like, magpa-deliver ka lang. Mas convenient. And then, uh, kapag kasi hindi ka nag-research, uh, para alam nag-roll ng dice eh. Or like, yeah, straight out gambling. Like, hindi mo alam yung pinapasok po. Hindi mo naiintindihan. So, that's uh, not really good. Uh, parang nag-join ka lang sa hype. So, huwag nyo gawin yun. And yeah, don't make that mistake. And then, kasi yung research naman, uh, sobrang dami ng resources na available online. In this uh, day and age, like, one click lang, one search lang. Uh, marami ng results pagka ginugal nyo. So, uh, syempre may mga ilan din info like for example nung nagsisimula pa lang ako hindi naman lahat uh, sobrang accessible like for example yung PSE Edge like ando naman lahat nung ano like for example financials yung value nung 
uh, stocks. I'm not sure kung may uh, graphs. Kasi uh, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin na-access fully yung PSE Edge, yung website ng PSE, ng Philippine Stock Market. So, uh, sobra nag lang ako sa info and data from uh, BPI Trade, which is galing lang din naman dun sa PSE. Hindi yung source nila. But, uh, yun, maganda lang na consolidated na dun lahat ng kailangan kong information before like I buy a certain stock. And then, kapag hindi ka research uh, you won't be able to navigate uh, risks. Uh, kinoin nga din ni Warren Buffett, di ba? Like, risk comes from not not knowing what you're doing. So, yeah. Uh, research, research lang tayo. And yeah, aral-aral lang. And syempre, at the, same, at the same time, dapat ginagawa mo din. Like, talaga nagpa-practice ka. Na hindi yung... Uh, nakalimang taon na di ba? Puro basa lang tapos never ka pa nakabili kahit isang stock lang. So, that doesn't really make any sense. So, uh, yeah. Dapat practitioner ka talaga. And yeah, along the way, like hindi naman bara-bara lang. Nag-research ka, yeah. And yeah, tuloy-tuloy ka lang na, na natututo. And then, next one is only relying on graphs. Yan. Ah, uh, syempre sobrang useful naman itong tool na to. Kasi like ah uh, isang glimpse lang, 'di ba? Yan, histo- may historical data ka na uh, in one glance. So kahit pa for example na list yang uh, stock na yan back in 2000 pa yan, makikita mo sa graph kung ano na ba yung performance niya, ano na ba yung movement ng prices. Ah uh, in two decades and then it doesn't really give you everything uh, that you need to know kasi prices lang naman yun history lang yun ng prices yung graph na yun and then uh, it can show you the current market trend and sentiment yes pero hindi lang dapat yun yung basahin mo pagkabibili ka ng stock well uh, I think for traders uh is solely rely on that? I'm not sure. But yeah, I think malaking factor kasi like daily mo siya ginagawa eh. so kailangan alam mo yung like activity ng prices like yung uh, candlestick. And then uh, you should always use it kasi ngayon sobrang helpful niya. But uh, don't solely rely on it. Kasi kailangan mong tingnan yung books yun. Uh, dito rin papasok ulit yung pag-research. Di ba? Like, thorough research talaga. Educate yourself kung paano ba kumikita yung business na bibilin mo. Kasi, technically, ganun yung ginagawa ngayon pag bumibili ka ng stock. Uh, part ng business yung binibili mo. So, yeah, may stake ka dun sa company na yan. And, syempre, kung kumita sila, kikita ka rin. Basically. Then, mag-move on tayo sa third one. So yan, isang pitfall din mistake is falling in love with a company or industry. So isang company lang or like sa isang industry ka lang nakafocus. So sabi nga ni Miguel de Cervantes, uh, siya yung author ng Don Quixote. So like 1600 siya, I believe uh, na buhay. Sabi niya, don't put your eggs in one basket. So bakit nga ba? For example, sabihin natin sa industry lang yan. Medyo broad pa yan eh. Kasi for example, construction industry. Uh, maraming companies na listed sa industry na yun. So for example, like puro uh, construction companies lang yung pinag-investan mo. Uh, it's somewhat okay kasi hindi lang naman isang basket yung pinaglalagyan mo ng investment mo. But paano kapag ka, uh, bumagsak yung industry na yun? Yung construction. So, ano mangyayari dun sa, ano, dun sa stocks na binili mo? Then, ba diba, normally, bababa sila lahat. So, sabay-sabay. Eh, paano kung ginawa mo is like half, since may ligang sa construction, ba diba? uh, Let's say, ano bang pwede mag-complement sa construction? Like, for example, uh, entertainment. Or like, uh, maybe casino, something like that. Gaming. ba diba? Nag-invest ka 50% din dun. So, kung like, medyo bumaba man yung investments mo sa construction, at least, kahit pa paano, yung sa gaming, entertainment, uh, industry, na pinag-investan mo, is okay pa din, di ba? 
hypothetical lang. So, kumbaga parang kailangan mo ng safety net. Kasi kung kahit naman rock solid yung like fundamentals, financials ng uh, company na bibilin mo, hindi mo pa rin masasabi. Say, example, itong, di ba, itong pandemic. Like, lahat talaga, lahat talaga ng companies, lahat ng industries is like naapektuhan. Uh, Siyempre, meron din mga essentials na ano, na companies or like businesses uh, in this type of situation. Like, for example, yung health, di ba, healthcare and like pharmaceuticals. Uh, but all in all, talagang apektado. Lahat. And then, yan, example lang. Like, meron kang ano, pupuntahan na mahalagang interview. Let's say, 10am. And then, an hour away, yung pupuntahan mo na yan. And then, syempre, yan, mag-alarm ka, diba? Then, uh, sabihin nating 30 minutes to 1 hour para makapag-ready ka and uh, makapag- Uh, makakain, makaligo. So, 1 hour na agad yun. So, dapat 9, di ba? 9 na agad yun. 9 a.m. Then, syempre, may travel time pa. And since 1 hour nga, dapat 8. Di ba? Umaalis ka na. Well, not really umaalis, but nagre-ready ka na. So, anong oras ka dapat gumising? Like, around 7, right? Or kung gusto, mas maaga pa. Like, mga 6.30 or 6. And then, yun. Uh, yung safety net mo dun is like, meron kang multiple alarms. For example, nag-alarm ka 7, di ba? Parang kung di ka nagising agad, di ka nakabangon din. Yeah, nakatulog ka. Tapos nagising ka ulit, like 9 na. So, yeah, uh, magka-crumb ka and yeah, ma-hassle ka. And paano kung na-traffic ka pa? So, may possibility na maliit ka dun sa interview na yan. So, best way is, pag may alarm ka ng 7, like, meron kang sumunod, let's say 7.15, then 7.30. So, yeah, uh, parang, Uh, backup plan lang kumbaga or like on this case uh, backup na alarm para talagang siguradong magising ka so yeah isang analogy lang yan para dito and yeah yun nga it acts as safety net kapag ka medyo diversified yung portfolio mo yung mga companies na pinag mo and then uh, like example di ba Uh, sobrang tagal mo nang like consistently bumibili ng isang stock na yun and then parang wala uh, meron bagong competitor na lumabas di ba the example dito Windows 95 or Windows 10 so pagka kung papa-edit ka ng video or ng photo uh, this yeah ay yung magre-render ng service sa'yo uh, nababayaran mo syempre ang gamit ng isa is Windows 95 and then yung isa yung second option mo is Windows 10 so sino ba yung pipiliin mo di ba Well, uh, normally, syempre, yung pipili mo si Windows 10 kasi yun yung latest na software na OS uh, instead of the Windows 10. So, di ba? Mas okay na mag ka dun sa mas, like, mas bago. So, yeah. Uh, point lang dito is, uh, like, you could try out yung parang better uh, company or, like, better investment Uh, instead dun sa nakasanayan mo na, na medyo, you know, luma na. Well, you can still keep it kung nakikita mo naman na kumikita yung business na yun. But of course, a uh, little diversification won't hurt. And then always be objective. Uh, kasi, di ba, like, meron tayong brands or like companies na kinalakihan na. And then, Well, yeah, personally, ganun yung ginawa ko eh. Yung unang-unang mailing stock is uh, Mega World and uh, Emperador. Kasi, so, I knew that uh, I knew that those companies like, way back pa. Like, back in high school pa. And then, yeah. Uh, like, niniwala ko na mag- maganda yung parang capital gains upside nila. Uh, without like looking at their books kung kumikita ba sila basta tingin ako lang ay ayaw kong bumili na to <laughs> then well doon ko nat- natutunan actually yung 52 week low and 52 week high it was fairly uh, low naman when I first bought uh, their stocks but yeah wala akong ibang tinignan like price lang talaga history ng price and then yeah I just bought it and then yung plan ko is like kaya bibili lang ako ng bibili nung dalawang stocks na yun and then yan, na-realize ko na it was it was a mistake 
uh, it was not it, it wasn't a mistake to buy those stocks but it would have been a mistake kung nagcontinue lang akong bilhin yung dalawang stock na yan like until now so yeah diversify lang kayo guys wag naman like sobra like lahat ng stock sa nakalis sa PSC is binili niyo na don't do that ah uh, siguro like maglist kayo ng top 5 top 10 na interested talaga kayo and then yeah review niyo lang sila and then like cross out niyo lang yung mga parang companies na medyo hindi maganda yung position like sobrang daming utang and then di naman masyado kumikita something like that it would greatly help okay move on tayo So ito, yan, timing the market, yan, medyo slight ko rin yun, I mean, until now, like, parang gusto kong i-beat yung market na, oy ano, alam alam ko kung kailan, <laughs> kaya kong timingan yung market na sobrang baba, diba, like, laging ganyan yung mindset mo, uh, hindi na naman laging ganun yung mindset ko, but, yeah, previously, talagang, yun lagi yung tumatakbo sa isip ko before mag-open uh, yung stock market. Like, ah, ito na ba yung ano, ito na ba yung araw na sobrang bababa ulit. And then, lalo pa na nangyari yung crash nung uh, March, I think, 19. Yeah, March 1920. Ayun. Uh, kasi, hindi ako masyado bumili nun eh. Kasi nga nakita ko, oh, shit, sobrang bumababa nung prices. Like, lahat ng stocks. Like, literally, halos lahat ng stocks. Bumababa. Uh, I think dalawang stock lang yung binili ko nun at that time. Parang EEI and CIC. Parehong ano? Parehong construction. Real estate companies. And then yun. Uh, medyo hindi ko na take advantage yung ibang like uh, blue chip stocks. Well, wala din naman akong funds na nasa BPI trade. So, that's uh, another hurdle. But yeah. Anyway. Going back to the topic, timing the market. So basically, the market is the market. Tool yan eh. So, hindi mo siya makakontrol. Wala makakontrol yan. Well, yeah. Merong investor uh, investor sentiment. Uh, you can like um, like parang predict or uh, parang gut feel. Something like that. But you can't really specifically say kung ano yung making performance sa market within the day or like no isang stock and yeah yun nga yung coronavirus pandemic sino bang magkakala na making sobrang ano nya sobrang big deal ba? Diba? naging pandemic na siya worldwide kasi like parang nag surface siya sa mga headlines uh, back in late December 2019 And then yun, uh, may mga ibang parang nagka-cancel na ng events. Uh, naalala ko si Gary V. Uh, pupunta dapat siya, I think, Asia and Europe. And then yun, na- narinig ko sa podcast niya na <clears throat> and sa mga vlogs niya na yun, nag-cancel lang nga sila kasi parang merong coronavirus scare. And then, ayun, akala natin lahat uh, parang yeah, quote-unquote scare nga lang siya. Like parang hindi siya malaking, yeah, hindi siya big deal. Actually, nung Feb, nag, ano pa nga, nagpunta kami ng Cebu from uh, Manila. So, yeah, nag-vacation kami doon like ilang days. I think three, four days. And then, yun. Uh, meron ng coronavirus doon, mainly sa China pa lang. But like, uh, wala, wala kami like ginawang precaution. Hindi kami nag-mask or whatever. And then, like after, not really a month, like, 2 weeks, 3 weeks, yun, nag-announce na na magla-lockdown. And then, yeah, after that, shit, uh, just hit the fan. So, yun, hindi talaga natin mapapredict yung mga ganitong bagay. So, hindi natin kaya i-time yung market, like, perfectly. And there are multiple indicators din kasi kung paano magpa-perform yung market or yung isang particular na stock. Like for example, itong <clears throat> yung death ng, ano, ng chairman ng San Miguel Corporation. I checked earlier, parang 1% lang or like less than 1% yung binaba ng stock prices ng SMC. So, hindi 
hindi sobrang apektado yung stock prices nila with the death of their like previous leader uh, technically kasi medyo matagal na rin nag take over si Ramon Ang so yeah I think that's the reason kung bakit like uh, yeah, pinasa na niya agad sa next uh, leader yung company para hindi sobrang maapekta yung stock price sila I believe yun yung uh, strategy nila back then say he's really aging na rin naman eh. so yeah rest in peace kay Danding Hoangko and yeah if you try to time the market uh, all the time like perfectly ayan mag overthink ka lang and then that will result into unwanted stress which will lead you to like uh, bad decisions so uh, we don't want that uh, nobody wants that and syempre, uh, for example, hindi ka naman like full-time uh, investor or like trader. So, you have other things to do pa. So, like, I think consistency uh, will like beat uh, yung parang mindset na to na kailangan mo i-time yung market. And then, yeah, itong mentality kasi na buy low, sell high. Like, syempre, sino ba namang may gustong uh, mag-buy high and sell low, di ba? Like, palugi. Wala namang may gusto nun, I believe, sa ating lahat. So, I think, kung may inconsistent ka naman, and kung familiar ka dun sa peso averaging, peso cost averaging, or like, dollar cost averaging, uh, pag in-apply nyo yun, yeah, maganda naman siyang strategy for uh, newbies. And then, yeah, consistency and long-term investing will beat this, uh, this attitude or like mentality. Kasi kung consistent ka naman and yun nga, i-apply mo yung peso cost averaging and then yung goal mo is like long-term investing. Then you won't have any problems and yeah, you don't really have to think about timing or like buying at the right, you know, perfect moment. And syempre, like, bonus lang itong mga ganitong instances, di ba? Na sobrang baba lahat nung, well, sa ngayon medyo nakarecover na rin yung ibang stocks eh. But like, yeah, it's still at a discount pag bumili kayo at this time. Uh, para kang nagkaroon ng time machine. Para kang bumili ng stocks uh, back in 2012-2013 pa. Which is very nice. Yeah, ito yung 7 behaviors ni Mr. Market. Kinoin to ni Benjamin Graham, yung uh, mentor ni Warren Buffett. So, sabi niya, si Mr. Market is very emotional, euphoric, and moody. So, yeah, very unpredictable talaga siya. And, si Mr. Market is often irrational. So, <clears throat> hindi talaga parang gumagana yung logic sa kanya. And, any rational thinking. And then offers that transactions are strictly at your option. So yeah, you're in control sa mga bibilin mo and ibibenta mo. And si Mr. Market is there to serve you, not guide you. So you don't really have to watch the market. Uh, to be honest, kung gusto mo maging value investor and long-term investor. And then uh, in the short term, Mr. Market is a voting machine. But in the long run, it is a weighing machine. Bakit siya sinabing voting machine? Kasi di ba, like, maraming kinakain na papel yung voting machine or like, maraming pinipindot uh, na buttons. Like, lahat nung stuff na nangyayari currently, kakainin lang lahat ni market yun. So, yun yung mag-dictate ng investor sentiment which uh, will lead to uh, fluctuations in prices, in stock prices. Pero in the long run, um, may higing para siyang weighing machine like i-weigh lang niya ano ba talaga yung value nung ano nung company na yun within those years like sabi natin 10-20 years like tama ba yung market value niya tama ba na tumaas siya tama ba na bumaba siya and then number 6 is it will offer you a chance to buy low and sell high yan kung trader ka you can do that and then Mr. Market is frequently efficient but not always Alright, so 
Ayan, kung makikita nyo, is an example, Jollibee Foods Corporation. So, for example, bumili ka nung uh, bagong decade nung 2000. Ayan, parang nasa um, around 20 pesos yung price niya at that time. Less than 20 pesos, I believe. And then, kung nagantay ka, like, let's say... 18 years, mabibenta mo siya at like above oh, 300 pesos. Kung midway ng 2018 mo siya binenta, almost 320 pesos mo siya mabibenta. Yung 20 pesos mo naging 320. So, 300 pesos yung tinubo mo. <laughs> like, imagine that. And then, syempre, currently, nasa 145-ish, 150-ish yung price niya because of the pandemic. But that's still a big, you know, gain. So, imagine mo, 100,000 yung in-invest mo. So, kumita ka ng, like, sabi natin, 300k. I mean, 100,000 shares yung binili mo. At 20 pesos. Then, ibibenda mo siya at 320 mga pesos per share. So, yeah. Div- uh, multiply mo lang yun. Magiging 320,000. Grabe, di ba? Tapos, uh, move on na tayo. So next, a uh, mistake or pitfall, it is getting too emotional. So yung investing game kasi, uh, mostly emotional game to eh. So dapat lagi, uh, lagi on point or laging kontrolado mo emotions mo. Don't let your emotions uh, get the best of you. Kasi that will lead to like stupid mistakes and like uh, uncalculated risks and yeah. Sometimes unnecessary. Then, syempre, pumapasok din yung mathematical, logical, and uh, financial parts ng investing. Yan. Mahalaga, mahalaga din yung, uh, yung branches na yan. Pero above those, uh, dapat laging, ano, nanguni emotional game. Kasi, pag na-master mo yun, yung iba, madali na siyang, ano, matutunan eh. Pero like handling and controlling your emotions. Lalo na when it comes to money. Ayan. Andiyan tayo kalimitan na kakaroon ng problema. So always keep your emotions on check. And kaya nga yung ano eh. Pagka long term investor ka. Like talagang hindi mo chinecheck everyday yung market. Ayan. Uh, mas makontrol mo emotions mo. Kasi di ba hindi mo naman tinitingnan eh. So... Like, hindi ka magpapanik kung bumaba bigla ng 50% yung uh, portfolio mo, di ba? Like, bigla-bigla na lang kinabukasan, bumaba ng 50%. Hypothetical, okay? So, yeah. Kung hindi mo chinek yun, for example, so, hindi ka mag-worry na, oh, uh, dapat ba mag-exit na ako? Dapat ba magbenta na ako? And then, sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, True power is restraint. That is correct. Sinabi niya nil na like kung lahat ng sinasabi ng ibang tao sa yo is like you're taking it seriously, then you're really gonna have a problem managing your emotions. Pero pag like you know, tinik mo lang yun and then inayan mo lang, then you won't really have any problems with it. Ayan, nakaka-ano rin yan eh, yung emotions natin. Nakapag, uh, parang trigger sa atin na, for example, mag-impulse buy. Like talagang gustong-gusto mo yung bagay na yun na sa tingin mo, yun, ano, may iging sobrang sayo mo pagka nabili mo yun or nakuha mo yun. And then eventually, kunyari, binili mo na. Then, uh, parang, yeah, sobrang, yeah, nasatisfy ka naman ng konti uh, for a short period of time. Then, like, pagising mo kinabukasan, wala na. Na wala na high, kumbaga. So yeah, eh kung uh, like na pinigilan mo yung sarili mo na and in mo, hindi ko naman talaga kailangan to eh. Gusto ko lang to ngayon kasi like for example, ano ka lang uh, parang for example, na insecure ka na uh, yung iba mong tropa is like ganito may bagong ganyan, may bagong ganto. Diba? Then gusto mo lang sumabay. Then, nag-impulse buy ka para like you know, mapost mo sa Facebook or sa Instagram. <laughs> And yeah, makita nila na nakakasabay ka. That doesn't make any sense. And then, uh, so for example, is unhealthy eating habits. Yan. 
Um, most of the time, hindi naman talaga tayo gutom. Like, word lang tayo. Then yan. Kaya tayo chips. Yan. Nakakain tayo agad. So, yung best, like, uh, way is to, like, uh, count your calories. Calorie intake mo in a day. Marami ng apps ngayon na ginagawa yan. Kung gusto nyo, yan. Maglalagay ako ng link sa baba. <laughs> para uh, ma-download nyo kung interested kayo dun. Sa calorie counter. My fitness pal. Yan. So, uh, naka... Naka-influence din dito is uh, yung emotions mo. So, kung... Uh, kaya mo control yung sarili mo. And yeah, you can... Like, discipline yourself. Uh, and restrain yourself. Then... You're gonna be a very good investor. And then, yeah, kung sobrang emotional ka, yeah, lagi mo lang sinusunod yung emotions mo, then it will lead to unnecessary and unwanted losses. So, nobody wants that. So, always keep your emotions in check. Yeah, ilang beses ko nang sinabi yun. Okay, move on tayo sa next one. Ito naman, mahalaga din to. You're not setting goals. So, pwede mo siyang ihalin tulad sa pagde-drive around without a destination. So, ano ginagawa mo nun? <laughs> Unang-una, nagsasaya ka ng oras and nagsasaya ka ng gas. <laughs> Di ba? Yung goal ng vehicle is to like uh, bring it to point A to point B. So, yeah. Sobrang halaga ng destination. And, syempre, pagka may destination ka na, pwede mo na i-plan yung best uh, route or route. So, di ba? Yung rota mo. Ano ba yung pinaka-efficient? Saan ba hindi traffic? And then, along the way, yeah, you can wing it. Pwede ka mag-adjust or like take a shortcut. Or gamitin mo si Waze, di ba? Para makalculate niya. Saan ba ako dapat dadaan? Alin ba yung mga one-way dito? Di ba? Baka mahuli ka pa. Di ba? Kung wala kang ano, kung wala kang plan, kung wala kang uh, route na sinusunod. And then, of course, in the end, you can assess if uh, you've taken the most efficient route. Kasi, same thing sa investment, di ba? Pagka, like, may goal ka. For example, one year. Then, like, goal mo is to invest, let's say, 100k. Then, parang gusto mong returns is around 5 to 10 percent. Di ba? Tapos, na-achieve mo lang is 5 percent. Yan. Pwede mong i-look back. Ano ba yung mas okay na gawin ko? Diba? Ano ba yung companies na na-miss ko? And ano ba yung companies na dapat hindi ko pala binili? Ayun. And then, pag kami goal ka, syempre consistency will be promoted. Kasi magpa-plano ka eh kung paano mo uh, i-achieve yung goal na yun. And then yeah, of course, along the way, you're gonna learn. And yeah, learnings will be inevitable. Kasi matututo ka. Kasi yung macro mo nga, di ba? Yun yung goal mo eh. Yun yung macro setting. Then sa micro mo, yun. Doon na uh, papasok yung plans. Kung paano may execute. Siyempre daily yun. Yun yung mga research. Yan, dyan papasok yun. Pag-review ng financials. Uh, and kung di ka pa marunong tumingin, yeah. Um, yun, pwede ka manood na YouTube videos. Magbasa. Magpaturo sa mga, I know, uh, accounting uh, na tropa dyan. So, yun. And then, uh, last one is you you can measure your progress. So, yeah, mahalaga din yun. Uh, like, natatrack mo yung progress mo. Ano ba yung, uh, like, makikita mo kung ano yung strengths mo. Kung ano ba yung parang medyo weaknesses mo. So, yeah, pag nakita mo na yun, then uh, you can just focus mainly on your strengths. And then, yeah, uh, go along with it. Alright, so yun na yung end ng episode guys. Recap lang tayo. First one is not doing enough research. Number two is only looking at graphs. Number three, falling in love with a company, a single company or a single industry. Number four is timing the market perfectly. Number five, letting emotions take over. And then lastly, failing to set goals. 
So, yung sources natin, ito, puro photos lang naman siya. And then, yeah. Uh, like, yung kabuuan ng, like, presentation is mostly ideas ko. Well, nakuha ko rin sila. Like, na-adapt ko na rin sila sa mga inaral ko before. But, wala naman talagang particular source. Kung ko sila kanuha. Like, ano na siya eh? Parang stock knowledge. <laughs> Na-stock na yung knowledge. Diba? And then, before we end, syempre, hit nyo yung uh, like button para mas ma-distribute pa tong video natin and yeah, mas marami pong makita. And share nyo rin sa mga friends nyo na interested sa ganitong topic. And before tayo mag-end, meron tayong quote kay Warren Buffett. Sabi niya, if you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control your money. I think self-explanatory naman yun. And yeah, na-stress ko naman yun, I think, enough dun sa previous slide na yeah, tinakil natin yung, ano nga, yung emotions. So yeah, very important. And yeah, I think you can practice naman on like little things at first. Like, i yeah, ano, like, hulihin mo yung sarili mo. Kung saan ka like, nag emotional di ba? Sa ano, sa daily, parang routine mo, di ba? On the daily basis. Check mo, ay, saan ba ako, ano, parang nag emotional and then nag irrational na yung parang reaction mo or decision mo. After you get emotional, too emotional. Alright. So, uh, yeah, every Monday na tayo and Thursday nag upload So, yeah, medyo na bagong schedule but I hope it works para mas konti lang yung break natin uh, from every episode. And then, syempre, subscribe na rin kayo and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my content. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and listening sa mga podcast listeners. I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember, be peso smart.